Hello and welcome to Mechanical Minecraft, Season 2, Episode 4. I've been doing a couple things off cam. Primarily I switched that around because I forgot that if you have those two uh, in the way they were, it would cause uh, these to become double chests and then ore would be cycled in and it just became a mess. Uh, I separated my stuff, pulverized it, and got it processed. I actually found a dungeon, killed an enderman, and I actually found this area, which is kind of funny. I heard it, uh, I heard a skeleton, which was annoying me, and I couldn't find him, so. Let's see, I'm just making sure there's no creepers or anything like that. Nope, doesn't look like it. And if there is, they're probably quite well hidden. Uh, I kind of blocked that area off so I have an access to it with a uh, door. That way it's not becoming an issue. Did the farming setup, got some rubber trees, chopped them down a couple times with bone meal and everything. Nothing too special with that. I've been mostly doing vanilla tactics to do this. I also made this, which is just some wood and a stick. There's a stone one that uses flint. But yeah, I really don't care much for them. These are decently good for when you have things that you want to remove the leaves quickly. Uh, what else did I want? Oh yeah. I pulverized some wool because I went and sheared like 20-30 sheep. So I can get this stuff. And with red power, or Project Red, I keep calling it red power because I'm used to it. You can use eight string and a stick to make woven cloth. Just gonna grab as much as I can. And if you put, uh, oh, it has to have dye in the middle. I forgot about that. That's why I grabbed that. There we go. A black backpack. It's just an extra inventory uh, thing for tools and stuff, which I'm probably going to be using quite often. Uh, I made a sapphire pick. I st I've decided to step up on the actual tools just because it's annoying me. And that kind of figures into what I'm doing today. First thing I want to do is I need some wood. Just a little bit of wood. I'll just break that down because I'm probably going to use most of it. Uh, I probably want two. Tree taps. Tree taps are very useful for the rubber farm that I have here. And I actually want to have that little, uh, what is it? Sickle. Just harvesting all this. It hits a 3x3 three three area. The only difference is, I think minor speed and the durability of the actual tool between different uh, materials. There we go. And it has a moderate chance. I think it has a reduced chance of dropping saplings and stuff like that, but that's because that's kind of the price you pay for uh, increased speed. Okay, tree tap. You want to go for those uh, orange sides? And no, it's a little laggy, but that's just because of the rain. I don't really mind the rain right now because I turned off the weather sounds. I'm glad I remembered that that can be uh, can be turned off. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of went a little excessive on this, but I needed a lot of rubber. Um, I was gonna need quite a bit of rubber actually. <laughs> And 
the sugar can was kind of a I want it even though I don't really need it as much the wheat was basically for food <laughs> and uh, gathering which we call it animals then harvesting them for food and other useful materials like leather and I was actually uh, messing around on my single player world of in a sense it is my forgecraft setup only without the Ars Magica and stuff like that because it's not updated and I mean I have roughly 90, 100 and something uh, different mods on that and I'm still po uh, pulling good 50-ish frames so I might run a series with that. I don't know, but I guess Optifine's really lost its um, value over the past... I don't know. It's been about a year-ish since it's been... Um, Forge has been really buckling down and uh, trying to fix these issues where they've been having a lot of uh, memory leaks and stuff. And I think Forge is actually doing pretty good. Oh yeah, there's also a bee in here. Won't be useful. Actually, it might be useful. Do I have the yellow flower? Yeah. I don't have the. Oh, I have. I have the string to do it. But why am I not doing it? Oh. Just took half of that. I remembered why. And specifically because uh. Didn't have this. There. And let's just do that. Oh, only one dandelion yellow. I usually like using um, these. And if I remember correctly, you could shift right click or shift. No, I guess you can't do that. I remember the other bags, you could do that at one point. And I'm actually going to turn this back into wool. And use this. I can now use a scoop. A vital tool for making bee products. Specifically, to get the bee out of the hive. Rocky Drone and Rocky Princess. That's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to get one of those. Because they're very rare to actually not have both. Just because it, it's a very difficult uh, process of actually... Uh, which we call it? It doesn't matter. It's a difficult process to actually breed them to be better. That's what I'm trying to say. Gonna need that. Probably gonna need a stack of iron, stack of copper. I would like more tin, but I don't have the tin to do so. I need to do mining again. I mean, I really have not found much tin, and I've been working. There's uh, a couple branches where tin and stuff have, are very likely to spawn, and I still haven't found that much. So it's kind of an annoyance for me, but I'll deal with it. The Forge Hammer. Probably want to actually have two of these. At least to start out, because I'm going to be making a lot of plates. And the first three plates are going to be invested in making a different tool. Wire cutters. Or, I guess, cutters in this case. Now, I'm only going to be using... What is it? Let's go with three of these one of these and what else I need eight more of these and let's cut some wire energy flow 
take the rubber, insulated copper wiring, you want, uh, what is it, redstone. Get this flower and stick and stuff like that out of my inventory just because I don't really need it on hand. I don't need that on hand. Oh, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I was going to crash. Yeah, I was about to say. You can't store these uh, in bags, but you can store them in chests. I need that broken down. This. This. And all the way around. Gets you the basic electronic circuit. This, like so. Gets you the basic machine. I need more wood. About that much. Oh yeah, these don't stack, so be warned. If I remember correctly, it is this, this, and this. The extractor. Now, by itself, this extractor is kind of not really helpful at all. So you want to burn another piece of, uh, what is it? I'm just going to take this stack. Grab a stack of that. I just want to burn a little bit more of this uh, sticky resin to get a, just one more piece of rubber. While that's cooking, let's do this. I need some tin. I'm actually going to need three of those. Two of these are converted into tin item casings, whereas one of these, uh, uh, the other tin, is converted into tin cabling. Next, I want to once again get eight of these. Uh, no, wait. I need a furnace. Furnace. Taking a furnace. This with. I think it's just this. No, it has to be iron, uh, iron plates now. So that means I need eight iron plates. Then, like so, chest to the bottom, makes an iron furnace, that should be done. Insulated tin cabling, that, that, rebattery, three, and iron, makes one generator. Now, generator itself is actually quite useful even in later game, it actually is moderately useful as kind of a backup power source. Now, granted, as you can see, it only produces 10 EU per tick. It's enough to power most smaller uh, machines. And right now, I'm just going to keep this as the setup. And you can burn most of this fuel. It burns moderately fast, but... Uh, the extractor is used to produce rubber, which again is probably going to be useful. I think it's three rubber for every sticky resin that you put in. I'm going to turn off these sounds eventually, just keep forgetting. Uh, next thing I want, some coils, I want some iron item casings. <coughs> Yeah, this will be fun. Now, as I said, I'm going to need probably around... Uh, let's go for 10 right now. Cut those up. You don't need to insulate these ones. Because they're going around... Uh, I think I only need one right now. Yeah, 
an iron ingot. Gets you the coil. And what I'm making is the drill. Very cheap uh, thing. You need some more re batteries, electronic circuit. This is the most important thing, and that. Oh, it does it require two. For a second there, I thought that uh, it required two iron and just one coil. Okay. Well, uh, even then, it's not that hard of a actual process of making these coils. And they do stack, so. Uh, I need ten item casings. piece of iron, two coils. That's the electronic motor. Need one plate. Three of these. There we go. Oh. There we go. The rubber. And let's put the that there, that there. Okay, electronic circuit. I need one more tin case or tin wiring. I'm just gonna convert this all into uh, what is it? Insulated, just because I know I'm gonna need them. That plus another three. That there, there, and three re batteries. And they do stack, but they don't stack charged. That should get me the, I guess it's the big motor, I want to say. Oh, does that require electronic, uh, it requires one electronic circuit and, oh, the iron item casings, that's what I needed. Yeah, that required the iron item casing. I could have sworn I made some iron item casings, but I've, I'm guessing I forgot. Motor, batteries, electronic circuit, and two of those. One power unit. Next, I need five, or yeah, six plates. And one makes a mining drill, makes a diamond mining drill. I don't think I can power it in, oh, I can power it in the generator itself. That's one of the benefits, is it, you can power it in the generator itself. Though it will consume the power before it actually sends it out to these. Uh, I'm going to need a more powerful power unit, but right now this is equivalent to a diamond pickaxe, only slightly faster. So if I really wanted to, and it also works on dirt, it works on everything. This makes mining much easier, and instead of having to w uh, deal with durability, just a little bit of power, which can easily be obtained from uh, pretty much any type of fuel source. And I already have about uh, a third of this energy filled, so... This is basically the complete replacement of my pickaxes. Though, to be honest, I was kind of expecting to burn through them a little bit faster. Uh, let's see. It's pretty much the end of this episode, so I'd... 
I'm going to uh, call it here and uh, see you guys in the next episode. If you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well, have a nice day. See you next time.